In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss the billing report that actually comes from the booking screen on the billing area in this screen. The report is actually an icon on the main menu and also on this screen. What I'm going to do is pick a client. You can see that there's several bookings or uh, rentals that this person had. Now in the billing report, which I'm going to go to, the billing report will show you each individual person as you come into the billing report by ID and then by their name. It'll also include the date and for doing a find, this field will be here with a drop down so you can select a person or you can select a person and a date range or an individual date to look for a rental that they did. And what happens is in these, you can see it summarizes the fees and the total for the uh, booking. For example, the subtotal, there was 11 cents tax, $1.11. Then down on this record, 382 in tax, $42, and 45.82 is the total amount for these bookings. Then it summarizes the entire report for all bookings that are in the report and gives you the grand total. Now, if you're using this in the proper method, what you would do is you would assume that when you come in, you can either print all the records for a given period of time, like a week, a day, a month, and look at the transactions and the amount of money that was uh, actually brought in for your billings. You could also use this report at the end of the day to do an end of the day report to see what was collected and also what was billed on that particular date. You can use the uh, arrow icon at the end of a record to review any one of the records in this area. You can also do a find and then group and print. Say, for example, if I want to do Ben Franklin, I could go up and go into find mode. I could pick Ben Franklin and say perform the find. And then I would have a report by that person with a summary for that person. Now, this can be used if you want to do a statement of items that the person actually uh, rented and then you can use another report to show the actual paid from the payment report. Putting those two together, it would add, it would add up all the expenses and then all those items that were paid and you could see whether it was totally paid or not. Now, if I have a sort like this and I wanna actually see the finished report before I print, I click the run, print, uh, run report button and now you can see it puts a sort header at the top, which makes it a little bit more formal of a printed report. Now, if I want to see all the people again, when I'm done with this, I would come over and click on the show all, then run the report, and then it would run the report and put all the people back in order again. So I can either ch uh, choose from another group of people to do a new report for a summary amount or and or an individual as I spoke about. Now, it's very important that you use this report. It's very useful and it can keep you and your business profitable by seeing exactly the kind of business that you're doing at any period of time. What's nice is you can also go back for historicals and you can actually look at a month ahead, a month behind. You can go and plan your future months by past history to see if you have the same amount of relative rentals in the same period of time to get an idea of why they would go up or down depending on either seasonal conditions or whatever conditions that may change the income that you're receiving for your rentals. I hope this was helpful. If you have additional questions, please contact me by email or call me. Thank you.